it's Miss Diana and today I'm going to do a number activity. I'm going to show you three different activities so I hope you get to do them at home. Okay everyone this is the number game. It's a number matching game so you'll need um I just traced the cups and I traced uh, circles and then I just randomly um, put numbers. I did 1 through 12 because that's what I could fit but you can do any number uh, 1 to, you know, 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 30, whatever numbers your child um, is learning at the moment. Uh, you could start, you know, 1 to 5, and then once they master that, you can go 1 through 10, and then slowly um, continue to go up. Um, so, you know, you can make this fun and interactive. It's a, you know, a little fun game. And basically, they're just gonna have to match the number to the spot on the card. So they could tell you, like you can tell them what number is this, and they should say 11, and then match it to the 11. Okay, and then I have here 10, and they will match it to 10. Okay, and then what number is it? Three, match it to three. What number is it? nine and then they're looking for nine and if they put it here you'll say oh try again where's nine and then they could look for it and then they got the right one So this is a second activity that I have. Um, I tried to replicate um, like the dots that you see on dice, and you can do this. I have more here, so you can do this um, uh, working on you know the numbers that your child is working on. You can do one through five, and then again slowly and gradually continue up. Um, you know, go do one through ten, and then one through fifteen and so on and so forth. Uh, so what you're going to need, I have these post-its. I put numbers on the post-its. If you don't have post-its, you can use index cards. Uh, you don't have to lay it down on the, on the table. You can hang it up like on the wall and then put the post-its on the wall so that they can count and they can match. So you'll have them, they see the number, they can identify five and then they have to find which one is five. So over here we have five and they could count one two three four five and that's a match and they're gonna put it there and I have here two and then they're gonna look for it one two and that's a match and the next one is three and they're gonna find one two three that's a match And if you don't have these um, little dots, you can use stickers, like if your child has a lot of stickers. everyone so this is all completed and this is how you would um, do the post-its with the dotted um, 
the, the dots on the, the board and the post-its. Okay, so for this next activity, um, I traced some numbers here. I put one through 10 and I have some watercolors here with a little container of water, a brush, although this comes with a brush, but I got this, and a paper towel that you might need for drying the brush every time you wanna go in with a different color. So basically this helps uh, your child to write out the number. So we dip the paintbrush in the water and we'll pick a color. And then they're gonna one. Okay, and it helps um, that your that your child knows the direction that they start up and they go down. Right? They start from the sky and they go down to the ground. So two. Let's make that a little darker. And then I trace the four here, but we normally don't write fours like this. We write fours like this. So you wanna help them with the direction that it goes this way and down. Um, I see a lot of kids sometimes with the fours, they'll go like this and then they'll do the tail. that's completed that's the activity um, with tracing the numbers with the um, watercolors or if you have like uh, different types of paints not necessarily like this um, so that they know how to write and identify their numbers activities and like I said before I hope you try them at home with your kids bye